All right, guys, gals, friends, family, Steve Patton with General Patton Bushcraft back with you with another super exciting video. Today's video is on Alone Season 9. This is episode 10 titled Winter's Grasp. And you know, Alone, they start each episode with a quote. This quote is from Mary Shelley, and the quote is. Solitude was my only consolation, deep, dark, death-like solitude. All right, friends, before you leave the channel, please hit that subscribe button, bang that bell icon, and leave me a comment. Friends, we only got three people left on the show. It's day 53 now. Three people left. We got Timogen, 31 years old, from Montreal, Canada. I said he on my last uh, video I misspoke on Timogen. I said he was from Manitoba. He's from Montreal, 31 years old. He is the doctor. And then we have Carrie Lee left, 57 years old from Sandpoint, Idaho. And then we have Juan Pablo, 30 years old from Manitoba, Canada. Those are the three people left, friends. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you think is going to win this thing. But the show starts out with Timogen on day 53. He snares a squirrel. That squirrel's about 540 calories. We see him clean that squirrel. And he paints his rungu, rungru with blood from the kill. That rungu is what he carries on his, on his back in that belt. That's that stick that you can use to kill animals. You can throw it, hit an animal with it, but he wipes that blood from that squirrel on that rungru. And then the show moves on to Carrie Lee making a snow angel in the snow. Friends, this is about day 53. The bad weather's just starting. It's snowing now, so they're starting to hunker down. But Carrie Lee's out there making snow angels and she, uh, Spends the day trying to make a cob oven, friends, with some dried grass, clay, and some wood. And she spends most of the day doing that, and it falls apart. We'll get back to that in a minute. Day 54 now, and the show moves to Juan Pablo, and he's dressing inside of a sleeping bag. He's fasting. He's saving a ton of calories by staying warm and dressing inside the bag and he says it's part of his yoga all right we see him go down to the river gets water there's lots of snow everywhere he's got that nice pier where he can walk out and break through the ice and scoop up that water and we see him spend the day fortifying the roof the tarp was a little bit saggy on his shelter friends all right with the show moves back to timogen he's also fortifying the shelter, spruce boughs and moss to fortify the shelter, and we've learned that he's lost 49 pounds. Is he going to be the next one to go out? Whenever they show us how many pounds they lose, seems like they tap out, friends. We see him fall off the log. He doesn't have good balance, very weak, and... Uh, he, about midday, he just shuts it down, goes back to the shelter, very tired, all tuckered out, friends. Not, not much food. All right, day 55, back to Carrie Lee. She uh, sets aside the cob oven, and she's eating fruit leather, friends. Good on Carrie Lee. That was genius, making that fruit leather. She still has a lot of energy, looks like, friends. She goes out checking her traps. Uh, her traps are marked with the ribbons. There's a lot of snow, friend. And so she doesn't get anything, but she tells us that she still has a lot of berries left, friends. All right, back to Juan Pablo. It's 22 degrees. And he's looking out that nice window that he made in the shelter out of his gators. 
took apart his gaiters and got some clear plastic, friends. Made that nice winter. I mean, made that nice window in the shelter. Again, he's fasting. He goes down to get water. Uh, and then day 56, now we go back to Carrie Lee. We, they show her she has to get up, get out, and go take a pee. Wet snow everywhere, friends. And that wet snow, it's like 22 degrees. It's not super cold, but it's a wet snow. And, and it, a problem with that wet snow is hypothermia, friends. All right. Day 56, back to Timogen. We see him climbing a hill. He hears what he thinks are some grouse. So he tries climbing that hill again, super tired, tuckered out. He goes back to the shelter and hunkers down, friends. It's getting real windy now, day 57, and back to Juan Pablo. Windy and cold, we see Juan Pablo stay in his shelter all day on day 57. Back to Carrie Lee on the 57th day, and she's gathering firewood very weak she's trying to break a piece of wood we see her fall over and she says that's enough friends she packs it in back into the shelter all right day 58 and we got three people timogen he's boiling moss uh, and you got to boil this moss three or four times friends but the excess water from each boil He's going out and he's pouring it on his shelter, friends, and letting that freeze, fortifying the shelter. These three uh, contestants, what they're doing now is they're fortifying these shelters, getting ready for a harsh winter. All right, day 58 now, back to Juan Pablo. He's down at his pier, and he tells us he's got over 10 years' experience of drinking sketchy water without boiling it friends so good on Juan Pablo he's drinking sketchy water and he's the first person not to maintain a fire friends he's not worried about a fire every day either all right day 59 three people still and back to Juan Pablo and he's down at the pier he's showing us four fingers of thickness of ice that's about two to three inches, friends. He says when it gets four inches, he'll be super comfortable walking anywhere on the ice. So we see him go back to the shelter. He hasn't had any food for nine days now, friends. He's doing a good job fasting. But what's really cool is he has that ax where he can take it apart. He can take the handle off. And he's making a long ice chisel, friends. We see him carve a long handle. And he has that nail, that long nail that he found. Remember, he found that, those boards and that nail, friend. All right, he puts that chisel, that axe head on the end of that long pole, friends. He's got a nice long axe chisel. All right, day 59 still. Show goes over to Carrie Lee. She's looking for firewood. We see her go and try to harvest some pitch from this tree. And she's doing a good job getting that pitch from that conifer. Friends, she sees a squirrel. She gets the shot off. And good on Carrie Lee. Wow, she gets that squirrel, friends. And she's back at the shelter eating squirrel. She's got all those berries still. And she is thriving. Day 60 now, back to Juan Pablo, and in his shelter, we see him clipping his toenails, and he tells us how important it is to take care of your feet. And that's absolutely correct, friends. You gotta take really good care of your feet when you're trying to th survive out in the wild like that. And he uh, goes outside his shelter, and he starts kicking all the snow. He starts covering his shelter with a lot of snow, friends. And good on Juan Pablo, no food, no fire. All right, day 61, over to Timogen. And we see him, he chips his tooth. We don't know, I guess he was said he was chewing on a bone the wrong way. 
Chips' front tooth, friends. He's pushing hard, and we see him get the last little bit of food off out of his bear hang. And so he has a... The show ends with Timogen in the shelter eating a real nice big meal with all that moss and that leftover grouse that he had, friends. And he uh, gets the wishbone out of that grouse meat. Usually he says he breaks those wind wishbones and he wishes for more protein. And every other time that wish has come through, true. But this time he saves the wishbone, puts it in his pocket. He wishes for uh, a good relationship with his mother when he gets home. And the show ends there, friends. All right. I think there's only one episode left, friends. We got three people left. It could get real interesting. We'll see what happens. But please hit that subscribe button and please leave me a comment. Let me know who you're going to think is going to win. Is it going to be Juan Pablo? 30 years old from Manitoba, Canada. Is it going to be Timogen? 31 years old from Montreal, Canada. Is it going to be Carrie Lee? 57 years old from Sandpoint, Idaho. Let me know who you think is going to win this thing, friends. And as always, God is good. God is great. I'll see y'all on the next video. Already got a date.